this homework, oh wise one. Hey, you miss me, Thor? <laughs> yeah! Whoa, package delivery. Hmm, probably something of mom's. Uh, just leave it, please. Wow, this ain't for mom. It's for me? Wonder who could have sent it. Cool. Looks Egyptian. Ah, that's it. Okay, okay. Uh, that's an in which, and that's a knit which means strong or mighty. You have been chosen to be the cap bearer? Go to the Mini Mart and wait for a sign Mighty Max. <gasps> mighty Max? I'm dreaming. I think they made this one in Taiwan. Hmm, I guess I blew a fuse or something. So, you think I'm dumb enough to go to that mini mart? Boy, I hope this is some kind of joke. Well, at least I'll pick up an El Supremo comic if nothing else. What in the... Not the cupcakes! Big Ed? Back, back! Taste my Louisville slugger, sucker! Get out of here, Max! Max! Wow! Bye-bye, whatever you is. I don't believe it. 
At last, the mighty one. Ah, I see you received my package as prophesied 5,000 years ago. Do help him up, Norman. After all, you are the guardian of the mighty one. Hey! Yeah! Don't mess with me, buddy. Uh, I know the ancient deadly art of, um, uh, voodoo. Yeah, yeah, and I can rip your eyes out and show them to you before you die. Right then, Just follow us to the portal, Mighty Max. It must be around here somewhere. Ah, glad that's settled. I'd hate to hurt either of you two guys. So, where are we? Mongolia. Mongolia? Hey, what are you talking about, man? How'd I get here? Oh, here it is. Hey, wait for me! Okay, now what's this all about? And how can you look like a... a chicken? My name is Virgil, and I'm a fowl, not a chicken. <clears throat> you are Mighty Max, the Chosen One. Chosen One? Oh, well, what I win? Cash? Prizes? Video games? <laughs> Where's that McMahon? All will be explained, but we must hurry. Just step forward into the portal. Look! I just see rock, and if you think... <laughs> All right. If you don't come clean with what just happened, man, I am gone. Well, if you insist. But I've only had five eons to practice this speech. Here goes. <clears throat> Every person has a gift, and in their gift lies their destiny. You, Mighty Max, are a hero, and you have been chosen to wear the last cosmic cap to victory. As such, you, the wearer of the cap, have access to the long-lost transport of the gods. Hey! Hey, it's glowing! <laughs> Sort of a super subway system, as it were. Come along. You are the focus of the powers of good. Norman and I are here to aid and serve. Oh, I don't feel so bad, big guy. There'll be other heads to chop, I'm sure. I am very wise and shall instruct you in the ways of being a hero. My speciality. Great. A chicken teaching me to be brave. Norman is your guardian, the ultimate bodyguard, as it were. He's quite unstoppable. He shall protect you from the smaller inconveniences that crop up from time to time. Where is that portal? Basically, you're it. Mighty Max. Yeah, but this mighty stuff, it sounds wussy. Mighty is a title of courtesy, like Mr. or King. Hey, this is my block! I'm back home! You are mighty, understand? Yeah, if you say so, just don't call me that, okay? Yes, Mighty Max. And another thing, what was the flaming pyro thingy waiting for me at the mini-mart? A lava beast, and at the ordained Minimart. Skullmaster knows of you. Then he must almost be free if he has sent his minions. Is there something you're not telling me? Look, I think I should know whether this house has a basement or not, okay? I mean, I've only lived here all my life. No, no, it says so in the scroll. I'm sure there's a basement around here. I guess there is one. Whoa! You mean this was down here all the time? Cool! 
stop. Look at your cap. This is the gateway to Skull Mountain. In my basement? What better place? You are the chosen one. Oh, great, Verge. So Skullmaster's on the other side of that? And he's probably got a million zillion lava beasts with him, huh? Come on, a guy'd have to be a complete moron to go through there, then. I'm not going, no matter what. Wow! <laughs> He's gone. Wow. I guess a chosen one's gotta do what a chosen one's gotta do. Well, here's to saving the world, and Mom, and my friends, and Virgil. No chance we have the wrong address, huh? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Skullmaster, right? You're the chosen one. Prophesied to destroy me. <laughs> You're a worm. <laughs> An insect. <laughs> I'm nothing. Hey, don't get me steamed, bonehead, or I'll gnaw your ankles off. Gee, hope I sounded tough enough. Five thousand years of anger and fear, and now I find you are not at all. Great! Then we can be friends? Shake? Whoa, 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 one second, thought. Uh, wait! I think I hear my mom calling me. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but she's a real monster if I'm not home by dinner, so... <laughs> More than me. <gasps> Time to die. Chosen one. The crystal! Well, well, well. One more step, big fella, and this puppy takes a fall. Comprende? Don't touch the crystal! Ah, you were saying? No! <laughs> Do you think you can run away from me? Virgil! How's it hanging, bud? Oh, the chosen one. I knew you'd come. Yeah, well... Can't let you go hogging the glory and all. Ah, wonderful. Now on to Skullmaster. Yeah, look, Virgil, before we do anything rash. So, the chosen one. Uh oh, I think we're in deep dish pizza now. Kill, kill, kill. Can chickens fly? What was that? Let's go! Fun. 
Oh, man, that was great! <clears throat> Would someone mind terribly? Thank you. Mighty Max says, find us the portal out of here fast or kiss your kebabs goodbye. things. Oh, looks like someone's rototiller got a little out of hand, huh? The portal should be just up ahead, maybe another 30 feet. Birds! The portal's 30 feet out there in midair? Over that? Oh, man, someone told me there's another way out. There isn't. Skullmaster! Have no fear, you are destined to win. Um, good to see you again, Mr. Skullmaster. <laughs> Scully. So, how are you doing? You can't escape. I'll rip your limbs from your body and slowly suck the marrow from your bones. That's it. We're husbands. But I'm taking that sucker with me. Open wide and say, ah! ah! Woo! Yes! Ah, don't mess with Mighty Max, yet, they bozo! What are you doing? Being the Mighty One! I hope you're right about that portal being out there, Virgil. The map has never been wrong in 5,000 years, and... What? No. You don't mean... What, like we have a chance here? Am I Mighty Max or aren't I? One? You will die, Chosen One. You will die! so bold on Earth? But where on Earth? Somewhere in Australia, I think. Should be a portal to Madagascar, only 50 miles or so from here. 50 miles? No way, Jose. Hey, I'm the mighty one, you remember? I just saved the world from certain destruction. I ain't moving. Find a closer portal. There aren't any. Tough. I'm not going. Um, Virgil? Norman? Hey, you guys, I was just kidding around. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> so normal, buddy, a big hunk of nothing. How about a piggyback ride, huh? After all, I am Mighty Max. <laughs> oh, please.
cursed Canberra, source of my eternal torment. He thinks he has escaped, but he is wrong, painfully wrong. The time has come. <laughs> ah, my soulless ones. Go! Find him! Bring me his cap and his head attached to his body or not. Oh, at last, a little peace and a little quiet. No school, no nagging parent, no brain-sucking aliens. <laughs> but why this beach, eight gazillion miles from home? Why not our regular beach? To get away, Felix. Come on, every self-respecting kid has to get away once in a while. Uh-huh. Are you sure it doesn't have anything to do with the volleyball tournament? Of course not. I mean, sometimes a guy just wants to go where he won't be bothered. <laughs> and what makes you think anyone would want to bother you? I beg your pardon, uh, is that any way to speak to the guy who just last week, I believe it was, saved the world from certain doom at the hands of Skullmaster? I'm sorry. I thought I was speaking to the guy who just last week spent two hours in the principal's office for mooning the teacher's lounge. Hold on. Are you, um, Mighty Max? I'm so ashamed. I thought I told Virgil never to call me that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Max. Thanks. Oh, oh, here, wait, here's a, uh, uh, rupee for your trouble. Wonderful. Next time I'm in India, I'll be sure not to spend it all in one place. I thought no one could find you here. Well, Virgil maybe, but nobody else. Okay, let's see. Max, you are in grave danger. <laughs> what else is new? You are being hunted by minions under Skullmaster's power. Uh, Max? Wait a second, this is important. They emerge from the ocean, and you will know them by their barnacled appearance and their ability to track the cap wherever Max. it is. Max! Okay, what? This guy's not a friend of yours, is he? Um, no. P.S. There is a portal in the taco stand directly behind you. Gotta go. See ya. Max. You know, there are days I'm glad he's the one with the cap. Hasta la bye bye. Mighty one, thank goodness you're safe. Muchas gracias for the restaurant tip. Whew, you guys shopping for a summer place? This is no time for levity. Norman has your clothes. Dress quickly. So, all-knowing dude, who was the creature from the Ugly Lagoon back at the beach? He is one of Skullmaster's minions. They can track anything on land or sea. They are now tracking you. Why? What did I ever do to them? Nothing, mighty one. They're most likely undeviatingly following Skullmaster's orders, which I'm sure are to bring you and the Cosmic Cap to Skull Mountain at once. Well, bring him on. He'll give us something to do, right, Norm? Busy hands are happy hands. No, we cannot face them. Nothing can stop them. They are too dangerous. They're too dangerous. Oh, come on, Virgil. How dangerous can they be? Just run! Hold on, hold on, time out! 
Who are those guys, and how do they hold their breath under the ice so long? It's not a matter of breath, Mighty One. They don't need to breathe. They're not even alive. Not alive? Where are they coming from? Well, I suppose the time has come for you to hear the whole story. 5,000 years ago, there was a great and noble people that lived in a city hidden beneath the waves. But rumors began. The end was nigh. Their doom was at hand. It was foretold that one day their city would be destroyed and all would perish. There was one among them who played upon the people's fears, claiming that he and he alone could save them from catastrophe. But that one was Skullmaster. Diabolically, he convinced the king that if all his people yielded up their souls to the crystal, they would survive. For where the souls go, the bodies can safely follow. The king ordered his people to transfer their spirits to the stone, but the people hesitated. So Skullmaster used his dark powers to tumble the very walls of the city, and the people quickly conceded their souls to the stone. But Skullmaster killed the king and escaped with the crystal, and never released the souls inside, condemning them to the torment of being neither alive nor dead. With the power of the crystal, Skullmaster ruled the earth for centuries, until the original Capdera arose to lead the last of the free people against him. But the soulless ones were the hero's downfall, and he was trapped. In the end, the hero tricked Skullmaster into falling through the main portal to the center of the earth. He left his cap behind so that he and Skullmaster would never return. If only he'd listened to me, there was another way. Yeah, yeah. So what was his hero's name, huh? Gandhi? St. Joan of Cap? His name was Maximus. <gasps> Well, this Max isn't sacrificing himself for Skullmaster. Not on your life! We must run! This doesn't make any sense. What are we gonna do, run forever? I'm sorry, Mighty One. We must flee until you're old enough to fulfill your destiny. Old enough? Hey, I'm old enough right now, man. To go down to Skull Mountain? Look, I already told you, I am not going back down there. Besides, how do you know that's my destiny? Because I know almost everything. Oh, yeah? OK. Who was the King of England in 1298? Edward II. Well, how many people are living right now in Calcutta? 67,982,732. Uh, 33. Sorry. OK. Well, uh... How many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Three. Whoa. Well, oh, yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyway. Destiny or no destiny, I am not going back down there to fight Skullmaster again. Forget it! Then we must keep running until you're older. Hey, I don't need you telling me what to do. I can take care of myself. Come on, Norman, we got work to do. Stop! Facing them will mean your doom! Hey, listen, Shamu. You should know that we've beaten everything from dragons to demigods, and we're certainly not afraid of a sushi plate like you. Well, don't say I haven't warned you. Take him, Normie. This can only end in disaster. Mr. Barnacle Guy! Well, shiver me timbers! It's a pirate's life for me! Judges' scores for the Barnacle Guy! Nine! Nine point five! Nine point nine! And a six from the Romanian judge! No 
none of this is in the prophecy. Uh, you know, Flipper, I'm really flattered by the attention, but don't you have places to go, fishes to meet, uh, swimming to do, kind of? Oh, Max! Look after Norman, mighty one. This is the only way. Wait, wait! You're, uh, you're, you're looking for the cat bear, right? Yeah? Well, I may be the cat bearer, but, uh, I don't have any cat. Bad hair day, maybe, but no cat. Hey, watch it, pal! Good riddance, you booger-eating spaz! Now that's what I call jaywalking. Norman! Oh, oh, speak to me, big guy! I hate Australian rules football. No, no, Norman. Norman, it's me, Max. We're in Rio. Virgil took off with the cap through a portal. Huh? What? Portal? We gotta find Virgil. Now, do you remember where the portal right here goes to? Oh. Uh... I'm certain it goes to Baltimore. Cool, let's go. Or was it Bangkok? Oh. Mighty one, where are you going? After the barnacle guy. He's drawn to the camp, right? And Virgil's got the camp, so we'll just follow him to Virgil. Right. You never know when you might have to immobilize some evil guy. Well, it's a good thing they move in a straight line. Real easy to follow. Are you coming, Mighty One? Yep. Uh, be right there. I, I was just sort of looking around. Uh, afraid of heights? Would I, no, it, see, it's, uh, it's not that I... Uh, 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 okay, it's just that I was wondering if there was a better way that didn't involve falling. Appreciate this, Normie. I really owe you big time. Uh, we're almost there, right, Normie? No, Norman! <laughs> my mom wonders why my clothes get so dirty. Why would Virgil take the cat? He probably thought you were endangering the prophecy. Oh, yeah? Well, he should just trust me. When have I not come through for him? Uh, don't answer that. Besides, if it's all fate, then it's gonna happen anyway, right? Some of it's fate, some of it's free will. <sighs> well, how do you know which is which? No, no, don't give me that Buddha smile. You know more than you're telling me. It could be worse. Could be a muskox. But I guess that's fate for you. this out. Ink and hieroglyphics. Mulat loves Hyana. Wow! So, this is our rendezvous with destiny, huh? huh? You ever wish you were a bird and you could just soar high above it all? No. Uh, me, me neither. No fooling, Sherlock. What's he doing? I don't know. Well, 
if he's not careful, he's going to get hit by lightning. Norman, Virgil once told me the cap is indestructible. Is that true? No one's ever done it. Yet. He's trying to destroy the cap. Even if it means turning himself into chicken cacciatore in the process. Come on! It's Amelia Earhart. You know that portal leads to the bottom of the Marianas Trench, 39,000 feet deep in the Pacific Ocean? Yeah, I know. It'll take a month to get out. Brilliant. And before then, we'll figure out how to get down to Skull Mountain to destroy the Crystal of Souls. That is my destiny. If such is your will, mighty one. Now, would one of you gentlemen like to help me up? What's the password? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Come on, come on, you guys, help me up. Now, repeat after me. I do hereby promise never again to refer to Virgil as chicken head. Oh, when I get my hands on you! You cannot escape, Capbearer. You will be. Ha, 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 ha. 
You see, the meaning of your recurring nightmares is simple to interpret, mighty one. The unstoppable legions of the doomed will pursue you forever until, one, their tortured spirits are freed from Skullmaster's crystal of souls, or two, you are dead, whichever comes first. Some choice. Well, there is another alternative. A sufficient gathering of heroes should supply us with the necessary qualities to tip the cosmic balance in our favor. Excuse me, you know real heroes will help? Why didn't you say so, Virgil? I mean, I've been running around almost getting killed all this time, and you're buddies with Batman? No, 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 no. Real heroes, the kind with certain attributes that make them uh, what they are. We should look to the four corners of the globe for what we seek. Beowulf from the north, Yona Yayin from the west, Hanuman from the far east, and Mujaji from the south. Mujaji. Cool. What a front line. I'll just sit back and let them save the day. Oh, no, 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 mighty one. We follow you. Me? But they're the heroes. I mean, come on, they're not going to listen to some kid. You are the cap bearer. You are the only one who can save us all from Skullmaster's dark designs. And save myself, too. Well, all things considered, maybe I am just crazy enough to do it. Excellent. Then off we go to Denmark. Oh, so this is Copenhagen, huh? And you say Beowulf is wrestling here? yourself another manager, Joyky. I've had enough. Who are you, my new manager? In a manner of speaking, yes. This is Mighty Max, the cap bearer. He is here to lead you on a noble quest. Charmed. I don't know, Virgil. I mean, we're supposed to storm Skull Mountain with a big fat loser like this? Look at him! Maybe we could drop the slob on Skullmaster or something, huh? He was a great warrior. Once. But that's just it, Norm. I can't believe that this is the same guy who tore off Grendel's arm in Hrothgar's Hall. The guy I read about and wanted to be like. You? You wanted to be like me? Oh, you... you shame me, mighty one. That's the idea. Just another golden idol from my childhood. Tarnished beyond hope of repair. <laughs> Enough. I can still master the old spirit and join you on this last quest, Cap Bearer. <laughs> I am Beowulf! Wow! Well done, my brother. And well done to you, mighty one. Your thorough knowledge of the Beowulf saga is proof that our beleaguered educational system is still doing a fine job. Whatever. Hey, let's go get us our next hero, okay? That's Yuna Yain, killer of monsters? Come on, he's a fossil. He looks older than the hills. How are we supposed to go into battle with him? Oh, okay, okay, you win! Don't! Shoot! A most impressive display of skill, warrior. Indeed. A joy to behold. We go now. Well, looks like we've bagged our second hero, Verge. Truly, it was clever of you to stand next to the rattlesnake, mighty one. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh, it's always good to have a plan, you know. So this next hero's ability is wit? Like, what, he thinks fast on his feet or something? Yes, like Odysseus and the Coyote Legends. He's intelligent and a trickster. Behold, Hanuman, the Monkey King. <laughs> You're kidding. This flea-bitten chimpanzee is a hero? <laughs> 
What's he gonna do, throw banana peels at Skullmaster? Truly, mighty one, he is a lion among monkeys. Hello, great warrior. The time has come. We need your heroic qualities to aid us in our quest. <laughs> oh, sorry to disappoint you, mighty one. Oh, I know who you are. But I've given up the strenuous and uncertain life of a hero for the ease and luxury provided by this zoo. Oh, dear. All the comforts of home and no running around having stupid humans trying to skewer you with a sword or a spear. But you're a hero. <sighs> we need him. Okay, fine. Then we gotta bust him out of here. Whether he wants to or not. No, you can't do this. I do not want to be a hero again. Please. Sometimes you gotta do things, whether you want to or not. Yes. Sometimes you do. Come on, Leroy. I want to bag me a rhinosaurus. I am a Mujaji, she who must be obeyed. You are breaking statues 37A and 451B, E and F. If you fill out the forms in triplicate and file them with the hunting commission, there are other animals you can hunt. But that rhino is off limits. Just read these! That's Mujaji, the warrior woman? Oh, scary. I bet those big, mean rednecks are quivering in their clod hoppers. She was not always thus. Civilization has quenched her fire. You know her, Norm? Oh, Mujaji! Did we two vanquish the harpies with a handful of flimsy papers? And what of this garment? Where are your warrior's vestments? I hardly recognized you. Norman! These are different times. One must change or perish. I fight my battles with red ink and correction fluid now, but the fight continues, and this suit costs $900. Thank you very much. Change is affected by the edge of a sword. Not anymore it isn't, you great water buffalo. Well, this is really great. We come all the way to Africa to find a hero, and we come up with a glorified paper pusher. Who are you, boy, to question? Mighty one. Forgive me, I did not notice. How may I help? Ah, eh, forget it, Mooj. You got nothing we can use anyway. But I'll tell you what, I'll give you a call if I ever need a good lawyer. <laughs> Nobody I can see. Welcome to the quest. Farewell, brave one. Be good. Since the one portal leads directly into the room of the crystal, it should be a simple enough matter for us to gain access, destroy the crystal. I just don't think I can do this. But mighty one. Stop calling me that. I'm not mighty. I'm just a kid. These guys, waiting for me to lead them into Skullmaster's jaws, they're mighty. I, I mean, what if I say the wrong thing or, or if I lead us into a trap? You must do this. It is prophecy. <sighs> well, look. Oh, oh, okay, okay. How about this? What if I just open the portal, wait here, and, and you guys can smash the crystal, huh? I promise I won't budge from this spot till you're back. And how would we get back without the cap bearer to open the exit portal? You need an exit token? Here! I won't take it. You are the mighty one. We are yours to lead. Hmm. Let's start walking. I'll show you the world. Anything's better than dying. But what about Skullmaster? Ha! If it's not one evil, it's another. He's been around for 10,000 years. He'll hold. But this is his destiny. He cannot walk away from that. Oh, I did. Only you could have gathered these heroes in the first place, Mighty Max. You were born to lead them. The fate of the world depends on you. Forget the world. What about you? <sighs> I think I'd rather be in Fresno. Well, I have to. Okay. 
crystal of souls should be right over... gone! It's a trap! I told you I wasn't the right guy for the job! who got us into this. I'm the guy who's gonna have to get us out. Hey, <laughs> they always say two heads are better than one. I'll take no heads. Ooh, not bad. You two make a pretty good team. Spare me. Wait, I hear the earth screaming. Move! must use your intuition. It will open your senses and anticipate the movement of the world around you. And never stop fighting! Now go! Your battle waits ahead! I hate this fighting business. I stick my neck out for no one anymore. <laughs> Not the most heroic philosophy, my hairy friend. But it does have its merits as far as survival is concerned. Staying alive is all that's important to me. Since my karma is somewhat shy and spotless, I'll probably be reincarnated as a tapeworm. Whoop! Out of the way! Heads up! Coming through! Hero on the loose! Whoa! Nice shooting, bud! So that's legendary skill, huh? Oh, man, thanks. It is nothing, mighty one. Skill is merely focus. When focus is achieved, you need only release it. Yes. Use your wits, kid. Stay on the high ground. After you. See? Nothing to it. your destiny, my final arrow. Don't you have somewhere to go now? Oh, yeah. Hold the fort here. I'll see you on the way out. I swam in the blackness of Earth and I. Mighty one, Beowulf fights with great spirit, does he not? Killing them all, run by run. Death was my error, then I did it for Yeah, but he's got a tin air. Listen, Verge... I got this feeling that I'm really getting close to the crystal. Intuition, mighty one. The teachings of Mujaji are taking hold. The crystal waits in a cavern at the top of these stairs, as does Skullmaster. Skullmaster? By myself? Well, why did we recruit all of these heroes if I got to face Skullmaster by myself? You are not alone, mighty one. The heroes have allowed you to come this far. They have taught you many things. It is your destiny to face Skullmaster and shatter the crystal. So you keep telling me. The fate of a million doomed souls, of the very world, rests upon your shoulders, mighty one. Great. So it's a no pressure kind of thing. Is that what you're telling me? See you, Verge. No to into the jaws of death. <laughs> Go to it, Matty Run. Remember, a powerful spirit will overcome any obstacle. Say, dear fella, let me show you a little trick I once taught a guy named Grendel. <laughs> Welcome, mighty one. Enter and die. The 
There's only one thing you can do. He's right. Remember, a powerful spirit will overcome any obstacle. You must open your senses and anticipate the movements of the world. When focus is achieved, you need only release it. Stay on the high ground. Let the other guy do the work for you. so his sacrifice is not in vain. But you... It is the way of the cosmic balance, mighty one. The exit portal is approximately 30 feet in that direction. Just like last time, how could I forget? And no digging machines to ride out on as before. Oh, some leader I am. Alas. Poor Hanuman. Ah, oh, well, he'll soon have company. And the last to die will watch the first five go before him. <laughs> Say, mighty one, I see your plan. As do I. Ujaji! They cannot do this! Kill them! Kill them all! Come on, everybody! Time to book out of here! We must hold Skull Master at bay, or no one will escape. It is destiny, young Capur. It is fate for us to make this stand. No! We can't just leave you guys! We'll manage somehow. If not, I'll see you in Valhalla! No! Mojati! Destiny, mighty one. <laughs> 